So it's time to have a little fun. So let's get spooky in honor of Halloween. <laughs> What's up? It's your girl Jade and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jaden, but I go by Jay. And I'm a lifestyle, home decor, and fashion YouTuber. And welcome. So today I'm gonna be recreating my look of how I actually wanted to look for my Halloween party, which was Harry Potter inspired. If you do not know, now you know I am a Ravenclaw. Um, sometimes I can be a little bit of a Gryffindor because my main um, character energy sometimes is through the roof and all of that. So I kind of identify as both, but I am more of a Ravenclaw primarily because of my creativity, my wit, and my sarcasm. <laughs> have a little bit of all of that in one. I'm just a great big ball of fiery energy with that. Um, but I wanted to sit down and recreate my Halloween look and actually get into costume of what I would wear if I was going as a Ravenclaw. So, if you do not follow me on Instagram, you need to go to the follow me now at Jay's Essentials or Jay's Essentials also on TikTok because there I keep you updated on my day to day life and what's going on. And if you do follow me from there, you will know that I threw a Harry Potter inspired party for Friday the 13th. It was so much fun. I'm actually going to do like a recap video on everything that went down and everything that happened and how I set up everything in the process of even doing um, a Hocus Pocus or not Hocus Pocus. That was the last year. That was the previous year of doing a Harry Potter theme party. So the theme was coming back to Hogwarts and with that it was like a Triwizard Tournament but except this time instead of doing individuals it was house versus house and so every I had every single house in attendance except Gryffindor because a couple of people backed out last minute but it's okay they missed all they missed out on all of the fun and I just really enjoyed the people who actually were in attendance so I didn't have enough time to do my makeup how I wanted to do my makeup so we're gonna sit down do my makeup together and we're gonna dress up as we're a Hogwarts students attending Hogwarts for the first time. No, we're gonna be a senior. I don't want to be a freshman. Let's be a senior because seniors are badass, you know? So we're gonna dress up as a badass senior who's been to Hogwarts for a minute and who's a Ravenclaw. And we're going to dive on into that. So let's get right into what we're doing. So I already did my base and my base has been the same like if you want to watch a previous video i'll link it right here if you want to see how i do my regular makeup on a day-to-day -day basis after this video of course but all the same so i just really wanted to get into the eyes and how i want that done i don't have any names on this so we're just going to go in with a transition shade and i'm going to go in with this little like burnt brown burnt orange tone right there and let's see Take that right into the crease and just build it up. Y'all, I am not a makeup artist, like, at all. Do not claim to be one. I just like to experiment and have fun with makeup. I used to do this a lot more when I was in college, like, a lot, lot more. Now, I barely even wear makeup to, like, work and stuff. Honestly, I just feel like it's just so much work when it comes to putting on makeup. I'm trying to figure out what color I'm going to go to next. I think I'm going to go with the brown and I think I'm going to dive into, I think that's a little bit too brown. I think I might go with this brown or this brown. We'll mix the both in. I just haven't put us out a budget to buy new makeup. Like with everything else that needs to be done in my life, such as I had to fix my sliding doors recently. I have to buy new tires for my car. I have to fix so much, like a couple of things in my house. So like, I like this lituation color. I feel like that would be like a really cute co color, like right here. So let's play around with that. I'm just gonna go in with lituation and it's like this really shimmery purple type of tone. I think it's really cute. Let me spritz my hand so I can show up a little bit more pigmented. Just pack that in. You know how I know that I haven't done makeup in a minute? 
I'm already tired of this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, can we like hurry this up? Can we speed this on? Don't get me wrong, I enjoy a nice beat. But I just don't like the process and the time it takes. Speed. I'm like, do you know what book I could be reading right now? Do you know what show I could be watching? Mainly reading, cause like I've been finding my passion more, like free eBooks. And so I collected a whole bunch and I was reading one called The Dark Academy or something. And honestly, I see why they give it away for free. Cause like the plot was giving very much fan fiction. And while I appreciate a good Twilight and Edward, you know, Bella fanfic, I don't want to like to read a fanfic that's supposed to be professionally published. And I feel like a lot of these romance books that people are publishing belong in a fanfic. Am I the only one? Like, go back to, like, the days of, like, the Hunger Games where their creativity, where the plot was fully developed. The books that I've been reading, like... <laughs> if so, if you have any good book recommendations with a fully thought out plot, fully thought out characters and real rounded characters that you actually understand their purpose in the book and... If you understand what I'm saying, please drop a comment down below. Like, I could go on about books and all of that for days, but drop a comment down below for a good book recommendation. And just to know, I'm into like fantasy, love. It has to, I mean, it doesn't have to, have, well, not like a little love in my books. All right, now we're moving on to lashes. And one thing about me when it comes to lashes, I don't look like, I don't want to look like I'm flying away. Like, I don't want to look like a bird drifting out there in the clear blue, blue sea that lost her way and is flying somewhere far, far away with the strength of her lash. Like, I don't want to look like that. I never like that look. So, I always go for a clear, natural natural look that's just my vibe and if you're not on the type of same vibe it's okay because everyone has different vibes that's just not my vibe <laughs> so i did my other eyelash off camera and add some liner and did my bottom lashes with some mascara and now i'm gonna get into the finale of the eyes i want to see what these things do and i know i don't expect much honestly they're from walmart and i didn't want to pay a fortune so I'm just like, let's do the bare basics. Let's see. Looks like it's supposed to like be an applicator where it like disperses the product on top of it, but I can't get it out to, to disperse it on top of it. But I'm like, do I'm, am I supposed to take that part off? Where's the picture? So after a hard, a lot of hard work, finagling, and trying to get the freaking top off of it we figured ish out and I'm about to put it on my hands before I even touch this ish on my face looks like that like very glittery you know what let's start with the rhinestones first I have a little sprinkle sprinkle and I open these up and I don't know if I trust that glue so I'm gonna use my lash glue and I don't know if I want to take this around my eyebrow. If I just want to go up with it. I'm thinking eyebrow. I'm going to do the at next eye off camera. But this is how it looks so far. I think that this is really, I'm getting bent down a little bit. I think this is really cool. How do you guys like it? Let me know in the comment section. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna go in with this little sparkle glue and add it like highlighter. Cause it dried pretty well on my skin. Again, this is in night month. 
My lips are so dry. I really should put a little some lip balm on my hair like this. Cross my heart and hope to die. Welcome to my dark side. I'm gonna go in with this pink by Beauty Cosmetics. On the top of there, I'm gonna use this neutral gloss by them as well, just to bring out the color and add some like. Mm. That's some moisturizer to my lips because they're really dry. And there we go. Now let's move on to the actual outfit. This looks so good. Like how pretty. Okay, so I looked at my makeup. I'm gonna be honest, I did not like it over the eyebrows that much. So I kind of just put them over my eye makeup and I feel like I like that so much better. Like look how much prettier that is to me in my opinion of just scattering them all around. I looked at Pinterest, I was like, wait like this like this is good this is like Ravenclaw rave like this is perfect so let's get on to the actual outfits of this whole look so at my party I'm gonna do the same outfit I paired this skirt with this top and I did my house cloak on top of it and let's style this and put this all together it's gonna be a look especially with the new eye makeup probably gonna add some different jewelry gonna add some boobs and it's gonna be good it's gonna be really cute so this is the body um, of it. So let me put on my cape. So I love my house cloak. This is the actual official one from uh, Harry Potter the Wizarding World. And it has my name monogrammed on it. How cute is that? I did not buy this specifically for my party. I bought this a while ago because I genuinely love Harry Potter. I just want one to have. Is that weird? No, it's not. So I got these two accessories from Spirit Halloween. I have the headband. I didn't wear this because of my braids and they were it was a little too tight. And I also had the um, Ravenclaw necktie. I'm not going to tie this up because I really wanted to give it like the I don't give up like I'm that girl type of vibe. And those girls aren't nice and tidy. They're sloppy. But it still works, like it goes. So I literally have it like that. And now I just need my wand. So I added some booties with this. Some black booties. I even have some Ravenclaw socks on. And now I'm about to go in with the silver necklace. It's just a simple little heart necklace. About to loosen or tighten this up a little bit. And then. I was able to find my wands. I'm about to do something with my hair really quick because what I have got going I've got going on, I'm not a fan of. So let me figure out my hair situation, I'll be back. So I just decided to wear my hair down and keep it that way because I feel like a bad bitch would do that. Like we don't put our hair up. And so we just wear it long and flowy. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the final look. Found my wand. And I have that little midriff showing just a little bit. Oh, scandalous. And this is it. This is the makeup I wish I was able to do for my Harry Potter party. But I didn't have enough time. So. this video hope you guys enjoyed recreating my Ravenclaw look with me for my Harry Potter party I am so excited to like it just like I wish this is the look like I would was able to achieve but you know it was fun recreating what I wanted it to look like maybe I can actually wear this look on Halloween I'm an outfit repeater I don't really care I think this look is amazing I think I look really good I feel like I look really sexy even as like a Ravenclaw senior student going and attending her first rave or you know no it's not our first rave going and attending a rave that we hosted because we always do that so yeah I'm a senior I'm new to this I'm not new to this I'm true to this period so if you want to see more videos like this and if you've not yet subscribed why haven't you don't say one second to click that button down below and do not forget to ring that bell to stay updated on all the videos I have coming at you. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, if you have any other 
other ideas you want to see tell me what you loved loved about this video tell me what you loved about this look let me know what house you are in whether it is Gryffindor Ravenclaw Slytherin or Hufflepuff let me know all that and more down in the comment section down below I'll catch you in my next one until next time bye loves Thank you.